the basketball basketball was 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 pretty black. It was, on. it was on. Now, of course, I'm talking about the professional game. The women. I ain't gonna lie, college hoops. This is it's it's time to shine. It's March, baby. <laughs> it is March. Um, did anybody partake in the women this weekend? I watched the third quarter and on. It was it was a fun game, man. Fun game. I literally started watching once I seen there was a fight. <laughs> Men's hoops this weekend. For those that don't know who's new to this, and you're not true to this, but of course we'll make you true to this by listening to us. The women. And the men college tournament happened this weekend. These were the conference tournaments. Um, mm-hmm. And it was it was just some great, high-level, energetic basketball. We'll, we'll get to our favorites right now. Um, you know, Juju Watkins put out a, a, a hamster class. Don't know if y'all have ever seen her play. Look, if you're missing mid-2000s basketball, that's what you need to watch. I'm going to I'm going to let y'all know that right now. If you want to see somebody shoot 38% but score 45 on two assists, that's, that's, that's what you – That's what you I need that. That's what, If that's what you need – and I'm being dead ass too. If that's what you need. Bro, freshman Dizzy Watkins um, broke the freshman scoring record, also left the Pac-12 championship. Um, young Kobe in the making – if you don't know, she's second in the nation in scoring for the women's side at 27 points. I'm trying to find. I hope so. <laughs> Kobe, Kobe did a good job. Rest in peace, Mamba. Um, the championship game, she shot two for 15. Mm. Um, again, no assists. She is not passing that bitch. Six um, turnovers, too. Man. Yeah, six turnovers. To, six I tried to pass it. Oh, no, Sage. <laughs> Sage, she's not all ripped. She's not turning the ball over from passing it. She's turning the ball over from driving right hard and running oh. into three defenders. She is not, trust me, I don't want that to be mistaken. She is not attempting to pass this ball. Oh, damn. All right. Um, UCLA two overtime game. Uh, uh sprains her ankle in the first overtime, comes back on some Paul Pierce shit. Nine for 27 from the field. Okay. Okay. Again, four turnovers, one assist. She is not getting these from turning the ball over. 33 points, though. Uh, again. <laughs> got two <laughs> dates in this motherfucker. I ain't going to lie. bad. 30, 35% from the field. Uh, but this is, yeah, that's Juju Watkins, man. I, I don't know. But freshman won the Pac-12 tournament. Uh, Six of 32. What? I thought they were tournaments. Listen, dates. listen. No, they're not. Juju, <laughs> Juju is a killer. Don't get me wrong. Juju is a killer, and I don't want nobody to think I think anything less than her than a killer. But let's get one thing understood. That girl is a chucker. Hall of Fame shot chuck. Can we see some I tape? Mean, oh, yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, as a person please, that has never please, seen please. her even dribble a basketball. Mm, let's do, let's do I know the, she's going to be highlights, but I just I know she, see what and, shot she's and taking. I do, <laughs> and I do want to say she is a freshman, so I do understand there is a lot of room for her game to grow. I just I just want to say I question and I know USC's women basketball used to be a great thing when Cheryl Miller was there but I like do we trust them to recruit well around her or is this about to be Black Caitlin Clark just no passing like literally just the shots this is crazy you should have seen any of her hoops this weekend I'm not a lie again another hamster class <laughs> another mm. I still class. don't know if a hamster class is a good thing or not man hey man <laughs> it's a class so let's really talk about it. Why is Caitlin Clark more box office than like 90% of the players today? Because she's white. <laughs> that was yeah. too fast. That's the answer. That's the answer. Like, no topic. That is. No, part oh, of it is that she's white. Part of it is the play style. The play style is really exciting and electric and all that mm-hmm. stuff like that. But part of it is because she's white. And, and the game that we'll talk about right after this is it, it will explain, you know. Exactly what that means. Well, I should probably take the fight. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! So what I watched was a bunch of good games, for real, for real. A bunch of good hype, you know, intensity, players playing. And I'm going to talk about this when we get to the full end of it. Because there, I, I ain't going to lie, I didn't get it when I was younger. I get it now. There is something special about college. And all of that was capped off by South Carolina LSU. Yeah, this is for the SEC championship. Uh, going into this, just to let y'all know, 
South Carolina has beaten LSU 15 straight times. Um, and I mean, just an overall, a hamster class, just a full on hamster class, um, defensively, offensively, Angel Reese played good. Uh, uh, Anissa Morrow played good. Flage played uh, pretty straight. On the other side, you know, Malaysia Full Wiley, a freshman for for South Carolina, had 24. But let's skip to all, let's skip all that. Let's skip all that. Let's skip all that. Did y'all see the fight? Yep. As it I sure did. Live, it was it was crazy. Yeah, I, I think we all saw the fight, but I am gonna pull up the clip. Um, so for those that don't know. Towards the end of the game, and throughout the whole game, it was chippy. So we're, we're definitely going to show some stuff that led up to it. But towards the end of the game, uh, Flage gets the ball inbounded. She gets the ball stolen from her uh, by freshman Malaysia Full Wiley. And, um, you know, she intentionally fouls. Cool, 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 cool. Then she pushes Ashlyn Watkins. I'm sorry, I'm doing it like this. She pushes freshman Ashlyn, or she's not a freshman, but she pushes Ashlyn Watkins, um, and you know that that ignites this big old situation, this big old scrum. I got the video. Let's 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 tap in. Let's tap in real quick. Yeah, it's a sea violence. Call it a brawl. I stop calling things brawls, man. All right, that was escalated, handled kind of quickly. Okay, everything seems calm. All right, good shit. What could pop is? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Omar, go ahead. Yeah, I want to slow some things down to introduce some concepts. First and foremost, again, frustrated. This was a chippy game. Refs aren't calling a lot of stuff. There was hair pulling uh, between Angel Reese. Angel Reese pulled Camilla Cardosa's hair. Um, there was some other back talk, slapping yeah. in the faces. Well, Angel Reese pulled her pulled her hair. Uh, I think I'm. Yeah, I'm. No, not her hair. I think it was Bria Bill's hair, but. Uh, Angel Reese did slap her in the face, so Camilla had a busted lip at one point in time in the game. Um, and the refs aren't calling any of this. There's some really, really chippy stuff going six eight. Flage might might be. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you right now, Flage might five, be 11, six five ten. Five, ten, five ten. Yeah. Um, and we've seen Camilla push somebody before. She's got a history of thuggish, ruggish behavior. Uh, and not, I'm I'm being jokey, Jesus. Before somebody comes in here and says we're we're oh. killing, it. but yeah, she's she's coming full fledged. That's six seven coming at you. Now, Flage's brother right here coming over to uh, oh my god, the score is now. Terrible. After I found that it was her brother, made more sense. But I thought it was just some random dude that was trying to fight, bro. <laughs> Copy off the scores table, and they said that he found out how tall she was because he's still coming down. He hasn't touched Earth yet, and then he figured whoa, out. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> he figured out OG. his back or his head is only at her like back or shoulders. Her shoulders. He's like right below her shoulders. Yeah, yeah. Or they, they, they. What do they? They kick out like six players or whatever. Camilla is the only one that's suspended for the first round of the tournament. Uh, LSU goes on to win to go 16 and 0. Uh, I am going to talk about um, the the coaches' responses and stuff like that. But I mean, just tell me how y'all feel, man. Tell me how y'all feel. Which I'll taste um, Well, let me just say off rip, uh, nothing but thug behavior, oh um, crazy thug behavior, and what kind of thug is allowing this man to jump through and just try to assault these women? What kind of uh 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 fatherless people are we allowing in these stadiums this is crazy um on top of that let me just say camilla did nothing wrong in my opinion she's the enforcer uh she she came through checked the old girl for checking her teammates she did what she was supposed to do in my opinion and to anyone saying to the whole conversation of oh pick on someone your own size last time i checked in the men's game no matter who does what we men out here at the end of the day we men and if i'm enforcing and checking you for my team that's what i'm doing Mm. Look at this. We got people getting away with stuff like this out here. Of course I'm about to do something. Like, what? This is insane. I didn't even know this was going on mm. in the women's game. This shit is you way don't more do that me. accidentally. <laughs> okay. At I don't all. Think, you I don't. don't think nowhere near. He literally goes was like accident. this. <laughs> Nothing was an accident. <laughs> this this, this, this whole situation talk? is exciting. I love this. You need more of this in women's game to get it more exciting. Um, And 
Shame to the South Carolina fan. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. That one South Carolina fan that got uh, caught texting about the situation. I expect nothing less from the second best USC in the country. Um, that's what you get messing with South Carolina. Yeah, I mean, uh, this was a crazy situation. Uh, like Damo said, I think we need more of this in, in sports. Um, but I will say the thing that caught me off guard was the suspensions in the game. Because anyone, any bench player that left the bench was ejected from the game. Because apparently during, uh, I don't know if it's an NCAA rule, but during squabbles like that, you're supposed to stay on the bench. Everyone left outside of one player from USC, and she was like on the border of, like on the line of leaving the bench or not. So for those who don't know, the rest of the game, like both teams played with five players. USC played with a bench player. And I think um, during the telecast, they were saying everyone who got ejected can't play the first round. Like, I, I vividly remember hearing that, but yeah, they, they corrected they, themselves. Uh, yeah, they, they corrected themselves uh, later during the telecast. And it, I think it was just Cardoso that won't play in the first round, which is a tough loss. Uh, she seems pretty important for them. But yeah, man, I, I, I like I like seeing shit like this. Damn. Is that crazy? I don't know. Yeah, I'm I don't know. I don't really have like a a girl take here. Uh outside of I ain't gonna lie. She pushed the motherfucker, she wanted to push the motherfucker. They were playing sports, things got emotional. It is what it is. I like to see it. Um, this is the second time I've looked at, and I am an omni casual, not even like the casual I am in an NBA. When it comes to women's hoop, I'm an omni casual, but this is the second time I'm sitting here thinking that college uh women's hoops is the way is the way personally. So um hopefully. When these motherfuckers get drafted, they can inject a lot of this energy into the um the WNBA because we definitely need it over there. Oh, for sure. Because this is exciting. Okay, so I found the the lip hit too. Whose garage is going up and down? What is going on? Oh, mine. Okay, mine's that's just is, uh, mine's just, just crazy. Uh so this is them down there boxing out. Angel Reese is fighting for her life. Um and then she swings around. And kind of just hits hits hit in the face, uh, and we can say that this one. Okay, that be, yeah, that's yeah. But so she does end up with a busted lip after this, though. Ooh. Damn. I think in the next clip, I oh, know they just slow it down. Uh, but she does, like I said, she does end up with. Um, she got her there. A so busted, she busted her lip and pulled her hair. Yeah, I'd yeah, say, but, but definitely the hair pulled. There ain't nothing on that. Let Let me say before um, we get into. You know, uh, the coaches' responses and stuff like that, and talk about that. I, this is what NBA fans have been missing. And this, this doesn't rivalry one, and you can't uh, you can't call it a rivalry because would you say sixteen and zero is a rivalry per se? Probably not. Probably not. But just some of the the energy and the excitement. I'm gonna play KG's words up too because apparently he goes crazy on it too. Pause. Um, but just the energy, just the excitement that is coming into the game, um, you know, people people are saying that oh the these people these 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 narratives just don't exist in the women's game or whatever the case may be. It's right there, it's right there. It exists right there. It also exists in college uh, men's. I'm not I'm not gonna take it away from uh, the college men either. All these things exist. In the college men's game, I hate to sound like one of them old guys. I'm tired of the buddy buddy. I really am. If if it mm. if it means a a not as good product, and this is just everybody trying to fix the NBA at this point. If it means not as good of a product, I don't want to see that no more. I don't want to see that bullshit no more. They cannot find this coach. Do you do you think while while you find that? Uh, and this is a question for everyone. Do y'all think this is a cause? Yeah, it's, it, is it a cause of money being something that people know is in the NBA? Because, uh, like, people make this argument about, like, YouTube and shit. The fact that, you know, the, the best creators were the ones doing this for the love of the game before there was money involved. And once money involved, the product got diluted. Um, you can make the same case about the NBA. Uh, you can make the same case about music. So is the reason why that factor is still in NCAA women's basketball is because of the fact that they are just starting to figure out that there's there's money in this? Or, I don't know, are, are there other factors in play? Because I feel like money has something to do with this. 
college college to me is always and, and again I, i'm learning this as i get older college has emotion college has passion now and, and maybe that's it because like i said uh on stream and here it is right here let me play this this is the coach for the team Adam Silver, aggressive too. <laughs> and apparently Troy Weaver did that shit uh, this weekend too. But college, college has always had some like more emotion or passion. This is all that matters to them. I ain't gonna mm-hmm. lie. For some of them, this is the highlight of their lives. Like this is this is the precipice. You know, some of them have to, I don't know, do do physics. You know, later on today or tomorrow, whatever the case may be, and they want to go back on campus with the Big Ten championship so they can get as much pussy as possible. And you it know. caps off at four years too. Yeah, like with the and NBA, you can play however long you can. But hey, man, in those four, maybe five years, you gotta maximize the fuck out of your time if, if you're in college. 